to denigrate him or anything like that. But I think there's a difference between the driver and the driver's mate. Okay, so who gets a full experience of driving the, the vehicle and actually knows really by feel what the shortcomings or what the strengths of the vehicle the vehicle are. I mean the driver's mate, you know, by association can learn, but does ne ne never will the driver's mate learn as much as the driver. And in this case, I have been the driver. I spent four years learning what being a chairman of the NPP is all about. I spent uh, eight months sitting in court, analyzing the results of the last election, analyzing why we were not declared the, the winners. Because at the end of the day, when you look at the, the, fit, the numbers, we won, we won the numbers. The fairest measurement of the performance in terms of voter numbers of the parties is where all the parties contested evenly, and that is at the parliamentary level. Right. And at the parliamentary level, the MPP beat the NDC by 121,000 votes. But you don't vote the, largest, the majority in we, parliament, we unfortunately. Agree, but then in terms of the popular vote, we had 121,000. But what effect is the, popular the votes reason, if we don't hold the majority in parliament? Because the reason, that the, can't. the reason we don't mm. hold the majority votes because the way that the Electoral uh, uh, Commission has... But that's has, the has way it is, and that's that the is, way that it's is, going that, to but be. That is a part and of the, you did not that is a part the of the learning, That is a part mm. of the learning curve, mm. and that is a part of the things that you now have to address because you have learned about how these things are being uh, are being applied. There was a lot of things that we learned, what we should have learned, okay? And definitely, I'd say that I learned, I learned a number of lessons. And those lessons actually make me a more qualified person today. And and we'll to come to those lessons, but let's also look at some of the the commentary out there within your party ranking file is that let's let's change the crop of leaders that led Which us commentary? to to, Which commentary? to, to among Which some party? members of your no, party. They, 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 always been the they, they, they believe you, that you should change the whether, leaders. Whether they they want, fail to deliver. Whether you, won, whether you won or you lost, there'll still be some people who say mm. let's change. But the commentary out there, the one that I'm hearing, mm. is that we trust you to do it to do it to do it. Uh, we trust next time. Jake to we do trust it Jake next to time. lead us in 2016 because we know that Jake had you know did well in uh, 2012. Okay, and, have, and we know that Jake has the, the capacity so to learn. The so-called key financier of your party, Kennedy Dupont, believes otherwise. Indeed, he is called the collective of your leaders. The chief the, the, of party. He says so. Oh, he says mm -hmm. that uh, the leadership was funded. Donations he made to what do you call it? Reorganize the party, pointing direct fingers at you. The donations and the other executives. Tell me, I've been with the MPP since 1992. Okay, I've contested a lot of different positions in the MPP. I've led the party in different areas to contest elections, all of which require people to support to support me or to support to support the party through me. Since 1992 until today, as I sit here, I have never received a penny from Honorable Kennedy Ajapong. You challenge him to prove otherwise. I have otherwise. never received a penny. I have never received directly. A, directly from him. I have never received indirectly. A, I have never received a bicycle from him. I have never received anything from him to contest or to do anything. When I was chairman of Great mm. Accra, when I was a campaign manager for Jerry Kufour twice, I had but never... But do you know I, if the party received donations I, from him? I have been chairman for four years, okay? Apart from the deductions that are made at source from the MPs, okay, I am not I am not aware of a single penny that Kennedy Ajupong has donated to the party at the national officially, headquarters. Unofficially, unofficially, you are unaware. Unofficially or anything else, nothing at the national headquarters I'm I And you of. challenge him directly to prove otherwise yes. if he says so. Well, we have done. He has made allegations. He has called all the national executive thieves. But why do okay, the so party members him, walk around tenterhooks around surround the man Kennedy Dupont? He makes a lot of accusations. Nobody ever seems to want to call him to order. I think we've called him to order this time because we have, the, we have referred his matter to the discipline committee and asked him that he should come and then prove what he is saying, and in the event that he is not able to prove it, then the discipline committee should take Why has it action. taken the party too long to come around to this? Today is not the first time that he's accused members or leaders of the party of squandering campaign money. Yeah. I'm not aware. I'm not aware of, of, of uh, previous occasions when he has accused. He's leaders. made similar accusations. In I, the I know Kenny Ajapong has said mm. many things. I mean, uh, I mean, I, I, is he your we friend? Have, we have. Uh, 
this is an associate of mine in the pub, uh, in the party. I mean, we don't, we're not buddy buddies. We don't drink together or party together or eat together. But uh, you know, I, I know him. I know him as a as a party member. I know that he has he has a lot of strengths, uh, and unfortunately, he also has a lot of weaknesses. And mm. you know, like all of us, I mean. So the, the, challenge, day, the you've challenge got, you've remains. Got to, mm. You've got you've got to balance the strengths against the weaknesses. But let me get it absolutely clear. Okay, I have never had a pen from him. I'm not aware of anything that he has given to the party at the headquarters level. I'm not aware of any 3,000 or whatever it is motor bicycles that he that he brought or to whom he gave those uh, motor bicycles to. Motor bicycles that I received on behalf of the party were not received from him. Mm. Okay, and were distributed within the within the party before the elections for them to work towards uh, helping us in the elections. So do you think that um, of, of the current crop of leaders seeking re-election, they, they have justifiable enough reasons to, to, to want to seek re-election? I talk here of your secretary, uh, Sir John, who is also uh, seeking to, to come back under competition that all of you are faced with. Well, I think the first thing to realize is that competition is good. Mm. I believe in competition. I believe competition brings up new blood, brings up renewed, renewed ideas. It forces you, as an incumbent who is seeking re-election, to think through again what it is that you are really going to be offering, mm. and is your offer a good enough offer that that will interest the people who are going to make make the appointment. So I believe I believe in competition. I believe also that you are you seek a mandate and you must come and and go back to the people who gave you that mandate and tell them what you did with that mandate so that mm. they can decide whether or not to renew that mandate. And this is what we're doing. Four years after we were appointed, we're going back to the people who appointed us and saying that this is what we have done with what you gave us. We believe it's good enough. I believe it's good enough. I believe there's more that I can do. Mm. And there's more I can do. Well, you, would have, you would have had to do a lot more homework before going back to them at the point of Congress to 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 to, to seek their mandate again. You would have to have done your own assessment to to figure out whether or not, you know, there's a high chance that you just might win. Otherwise, as we're being told, you go when the crowd is loudest. And uh, that 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 is your choice. Okay, you can go when the applause is loud, when the applause is loudest, or you can say that no, I have something more to offer the party. Okay, I, I have been committed to this party since uh, since we formed it. I'm determined that this party will be a success. I believe the best role that I can play for this party at this time is to lead it as its national what chairman. What has been your greatest achievement as national chairman within the past four years? Oh, that's that's going to be for the for the party for the party to judge, but a number of the but you can number, tell us what did things, you aspire to do and what have you achieved? I aspire to make sure that we trained we trained the party, that we were a better trained party, we were a better organized party than we have ever been before. Well, the election petition didn't give us evidence of a good, oh, you know, well trained polling station agent. I think the election, petition, did. I think the election mm. what the election petition gave you in part was that there was a party which, for the first time in this history was able, within 21 days, from the time of the declaration of the results, was able to gather from across the whole country 24,000 out of 26,000 uh, pink sheets and have them back in Accra in time for them to be analyzed and for the lawyers to go through it so we could actually put a case in the court. We have never, we previously... We're talking we about training of your agents, your polling agents who failed to do a number of things they were expected Lots to of, do that led to and you, and you would not issues have known, you raised. You would not have known hmm. about that. Okay, You would not have known about the extent of that if we hadn't been able to gather all these pink sheets in, in this way. But that okay, flies in the face of a well-trained party no, agent, no, no, right? No, no, if, that's the evidence that, no, no, well, these people no, weren't well-trained after what, all. What it says, what it says is that you, there, there is an insufficiency of training. But mm. it doesn't mean that there's not, there's, uh, there's not, it's not a well-trained, uh, well-organized party. So that's to be able To be able to do it at all, you must be organized enough to, to have been able to get to get it. Okay, And then uh, when you've got it, you analyze it, and then what you see from the analysis is that we did a good job, but we did not do all that we're supposed to do. So you think you're leaving a party, at least you've led a party that is being better trained than you met it? Yes. Better trained that. to do what? Better trained to win an election. 
and we definitely in the first to part lose of, an election the, because the first that's part the of winning an election is to get is to get the votes. Now I've just told you we got 121,000 more votes than the NDC. Mr. JQ did not win this election. How no, no. can you continue there's to two, say that? The first part mm. of the winning is to make sure you got more votes. The second part of winning is to make sure that you then have all, all the things declared for you. John, candidate John Mahama was able to claw back 121,000 votes that his party was behind the MPP in and get 300,000 more votes above that. So that at From the end where? of... Exactly. That was what we were able to show by the, the analysis that we did. That what happened, seems to have happened, is that every oh, single, no every single mm. person okay, who did not vote for their parliament, their parliament, uh, their parliament, the, the presidential, uh, the presidential mm. candidate in, in, at the presidential level, every single one of those votes went to candidate Muhammad, including the three places where we had NPP independents who were supposed to be voting for Nana Kufuado and the NPP independent par parliamentary candidate. They all somehow ended up voting for candidate so, Muhammad. So, so you would want this was the you, basis. You, you think you can convince your delegates that you you have led a party that has increased votes but not necessarily been declared winners of the election. That's what we, we fell short. Now we must make sure that we learn from the reasons why did we fall short. By doing what differently? By learning. By learning. Mm. And I'm not going to sit here and then expose to you all the things that we have been learning over the last eight, nine months of analyzing the, the results. Okay, but definitely you learn from what you have done. If you do something and you fall short, if you repeat it, it's a mistake. If you don't repeat it, if you learn from it, then it becomes um, experience. And what we have to do is to turn everything that went against us last time into experience so that we make sure that it hasn't happened again. And so, this is what mm, it's all about. This so, is so, why so the party... These are some of your, your achievements that you'd be you'd put in, putting forth to it's your delegates. It's an important... what, what would be your weakest moment as a national chairman? Oh, I'm, I'm, I think my opponents will talk about my weaknesses. Okay, it's for me to talk about some of the strengths, some of the things that we have been able to do. Mm. This is a party that people say... You oh, don't recognize that you've done can't... some things that on hindsight you ought to have done differently. And that, you, is, that is the whole benefit of you experience. You don't want to be that is what candid you, that to is, share what that those is what, weaknesses that is what you, have That been. is what you learn. Mm. That is why I say today I'm a better candidate than I was four years ago. Because I have learned the job over the last four years. Now, you, don't, you come into a new job, no matter how well qualified you are, you still have to learn that some of the nuances of that job. I've learned the nuances of it. I'm that really does not believe that the New Patriotic Party as a party and your leadership has done a proper assessment of why you lost the 2012 elections yeah. and you wasted a lot of time on the court case and he still does not believe that you know why you lost. Arthur so Kennedy, even Arthur Kennedy, Arthur Kennedy, Arthur Kennedy, Arthur Kennedy, I don't think Arthur I don't think Arthur Kennedy has talked to anybody inside the national headquarters about any of the things that have gone on. I know definitely he hasn't talked to me. He came out with something, okay, and I wrote him a, I, I, I wrote, uh, I wrote him a letter, on, uh, emailed him a letter, saying that if you want these things and you want to know more about these things, you don't just come onto the air, okay, and, and then start discussing everything and then exposing everything. The same thing that he did with his book. Okay, you go and publish a book like that, thinking that you're very clever. But at the end of the day, how clever really are you? Mm. Okay, I don't think you really helped the party. Okay, in a way that you could have done if you had actually shared whatever it is you wanted to share from from that book within the party, and then being part of the group that would make sure that we we made we did not repeat. Well, what what whatever. what values what? does the New Patriotic Party stand for as we speak? Because there seems to be confusion in the minds of some of your members. They say that we're being told that we are a democratic party, internal democracy strives in our party, and yet when people speak out, the hawks come down on them. People like uh, Dr. Arthur Kennedy has spoken; he's been bashed. Uh, Dr. Nyahotamaklu is disagreed with you and certain things is being bashed. Um, what's his name? Um, the one Tarzan has spoken. He's been called before a disciplinary committee suspended for disagreeing with the political party. I don't think he was suspended mm -hmm. for disagreeing. I think if you, if you look at it, again, okay, this is a, it's a very high power committee, the disciplinary committee, 
It includes lawyers. It includes um, people from a different, a whole broad range of uh, experiences. And they, and what they, what I think you find that why, why they took action about against him was because he brought the party into disrepute. Okay. Uh, Arthur Kennedy, you come out and you say something, and then people disagree with you, and then suddenly you start screaming that you know they're not democratic because they're shouting against you, they're, they're arguing with you. What, what, why can they not also make a lot of noise in disagreement with what you have said? You can make a lot can of noise. Can they do that in a civil manner? Because some of what some would, of the comments I would, I would, would hope, outline I would, insults. I would hope that attack. people would argue in a civil manner. I try to do Dr. that. All, do I try to do that mm. all the time. Okay? Um, in hoping that people will learn from from the example that I set. But I'm not. I'm not responsible for bringing up everybody in this country. I'm not responsible for the manners that people have or don't have. I'm not responsible for how people argue. You go to any bar and see an argument. Watch uh, people on the terraces when they're watching football and see an argument and see how, how high voices are raised mm. and the insults that come but out of it. But should party leaders part have of, the power to call members that seem to be going But then you're saying to me that to, that, that, that to call them would mean that we are, we are actually doubting our democratic when you, when you when believe, our democratic When rights. you believe that they are being uncivil, in the expression of I believe people agreement. are not only being uncivil, but I believe people are actually telling outright lies about me at this time. Because some people are competing against me, and some of their supporters think that they can best get an advantage by not about by telling lies. Not just about me, but other people have also been faced in competition, and they find that competition Unfortunately, too often mm. is heralded Following by, your, by thought, your logical what are we going to thoughts. Do about that it? justifies mm. your 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 intention to seek an election. Will be, uh, be 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 in the the what do you call it? Would he be right or would he be justified to come into this race? The also decision, seeking the decision will be made. Election? The decision will be made by the party. If he decides, he and you're asking, if you're, you're asking, mm. me, you're asking me to go inside the head of the Naku And if I go inside the head of the Naku, not to go inside, if I, and I come by out, extension. I think that Nana is going to do this or is going to do that. Then suddenly everybody is going to say, ah, you see, and then they, we get all these uh, no, other. By other extension, problems. I'm just following what you, what, what reasons you're giving to be reasons why I you think, think, we're think in the best place now to. If you look at, if you look at Nana, if, if you look at Nana Kufuadu, okay. Um, uh, and you say, can he attract votes? Okay, I think the record is that. Okay, that he attracted votes, over five five million votes. The court case that we put into court showed that it was not his lack of attraction as a candidate that meant that made him not to be declared as the as the presidential candidate. Nanaku Fuado was being bombarded by a number of different allegations. He was being bombarded by the NDC that he was a man of violence, that he was somebody who would burn Ghana and, and have Ghanaians slaughtered in his quest for political office. Nana Kufuado, after the and court what, case, and during the court story? case, no, I think now they have had the proof that he is not a person of violence, that he was part of the leadership of the party, including myself and other leaders, Proving. Who, 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 who persuaded the party people that we would not seek to display our disagreement with the election results by going on the streets, but we would take the matter to court and strengthen the institutions of democracy in our country. So he's so the I best candidate for the NPP at this time. Going see, you are putting words in I'm my asking, mouth again. I'm you asking, are putting words. I'm asking, you're asking me about mm. him as a, as a candidate. I'm telling you some of the things that, that, that are out there. I think Nana Kufuado, in the way that he declared the, the acceptance, even though, if you remember, what we had with the Supreme Court case, when we went into the Supreme Court, the president of the court told us that there were two grounds for the case. One was that we had to show that there were irregularities, that irregularities had occurred. Two, we had to show that those irregularities had occurred in sufficient quantity to have affected the uh, outcome of the, of the election. And, and, and when he came, when they came to deliver the judgment, they changed the 
the uh, goalposts. How did they change the goalposts? Because it no longer referred to the two things that we had to prove, that there had been irregularities, and that the irregularities were sufficient to change the outcome because of the Because even you enumerated the, the specific knew. issues under the irregularities that you were seeking to contest, voting with biometric the, verification, and no signatures of presiding officers. You enumerated that they those, are not set up those, by five or six. Those are the, those mm. are the different areas that yes. we said. These are the areas where these irregularities occur. And the judgments. And these are the areas where they affected in numbers mm. sufficient to affect the outcome point, of the case. Point being, as point we being that an five, an five out of the nine judges, five out of the nine judges ruled that there had been irregularities. Five out of the nine judges ruled that those irregularities were of sufficient scale to have affected the outcome of the of the election and that there should be a rerun. But in the because of the way that the judgment was now delivered, based upon the different areas that we had shown where irregularities occurred, we had a situation where they said no, you only had four in any particular in any particular mm. area. So there how was does real that, grounds how does that reflect there were real the grounds mm. for for the the case to be continued and taken to review. Nana Kufuado after consulting with us, turned round and then was masterly. Okay, was came out. I mean, the world has applauded the way in which he accepted and said that we would not seek a review. He became a, a state. Should he be contested? Sorry. Should he be contested? Nobody should go forward without people examining and finding if there's somebody better. Jacob Petrovi Lamte cannot turn around and say that he should be the sole candidate to be national chairman. Other people should be looked at. And then you turn around and you say that because competition is supposed to benefit us, is supposed to improve us, is there something better, someone better than Jake? If there's someone better than Jake, then you pick that person. But definitely, you must at all times consider, look at the array, and look for the best person who can deliver whatever it is you want delivered. You, you we have, had, have endorsed the candidate of um, Sir John. Your party general secretary. You think he would make a good general secretary the second time? I believe, I believe that we won the numbers in that in the last general election. So basically, I would I would turn around and say that yes, the team has basically so, delivered. You, you, which mm. doesn't mean the team cannot be strengthened. If the team has. So delivered. endorse your so team. So I'm not going to go around and say that I'm against anybody who was a part of the team. If they're seeking, so that's an, whatever. It, that's a tacit in, okay. endorsement of every yeah, member of your team, including Nanado, Sir John, whoever. And each one, one should be examined because there can be improvements. Jacob Vecchi should be examined. Yes, the team has done well, but you know, maybe with a different chairman, we can do even better. Or Is your party whatever. broke? Sorry? Is your party broke? I don't know any party that can turn around and say mm. it's, it's wealthy. Unless, you know, the, it's one of, in one of these strange countries. Where you don't uh, have accountability and everything. So goes, one of the criticism against you is that there's not been a lot of focus on raising money to run the party as we speak, and the party as we speak is running on the generosity of individuals. And so I believe it mostly has run from the beginning on the generosity of individuals. Without the generosity of individuals, there would have been no MPP at the very from the very beginning. It's because there are individuals who are committed to the ideals of the MPP, to the vision of the MPP, that today we have an MPP. We have to go, but tell us finally uh, what, what, what preparations are in place towards your National Delegates Congress uh, scheduled for March? Well, see again, this is a, people go around saying all sorts of silly things which they should not really ought to be saying. Okay, there is a, a proper elections committee which is uh, laid out inside the constitution and that elections committee is in place and will be handling the, the national elections. The rest of it, everything is controlled by the national executive. So if Jacob Benjamin Lamti as chairman has a good idea, or Shamima as a member of MPP has a good idea and you want to bring them forward, you bring your ideas forward for the national executive committee to, to consider them. National executive committee, now that we're getting, if it's to do with the election, we'll forward that idea to the elections committee for the elections committee to decide as if they wish to implement it or how they wish to implement it. This is a part in where people, some people are saying that you need to do this, that, the other thing. And yes, in the last few months we've had the elections 
and selections where we have put in 130,000, some 130,000 executives at 26,000 polling stations across the country without any real mishap or violence or anything else. We have been able to elect constituency executives for over 90% of the 275 constituencies, which includes the 45 new constituencies, which actually makes 90 new constituencies that were created just a month or whatever it is to the election by the Electoral, electoral Commission. So this is not a party in great disarray. This is a party that has a lot of things to be proud of and that we should now be actually talking about our glass being half full and not, and not abide all those characters who want to come and say that, oh, your glass is actually half empty. The glass is half right. full. We have to do more. We have to fill it. That's all it's, that's what it's all about. Mr. Jake Otanka Obechevi Lante is the national chairman of the New Patriotic Party and he's seeking a re-election bid uh, come March or so, March 1st this year. We thank you very much for your company this evening and we wish you all the best. Thank you to me, you you've, lost none, you've lost none of your wives. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. And that's how we end it today. We thank you very much, but let me just announce that uh, the Big Issues is returning tomorrow, the first um, edition for the year at 9 a.m. It's a new and it's a well packaged big issues you want to tune in tomorrow with Richard Della Sky and his uh, guests as they discuss the topical issues from this week. My name is Shamima Muslim Al Hassan. I was here with Martin I said that's a Vivian Kai Mensa I came through with the business news and the program has been produced by Rabiu Al Hassan, Sami Biafe, got a Fred Dabano and Jimmy Chris is being the studio manager. Do enjoy your Friday, your weekend. Bye for now. <laughs>